Uh, what brought you here today and why are you doing the program? Um, I'm doing the program to jumpstart the weight loss journey. I want to get back into shape, be fit, um, and also have a healthier body and lifestyle. Who are you doing this program for? Myself. Good. <laughs> uh, talk to me about some specifics. What do you really want to accomplish in the next 12 weeks? I want to know um, more about the meal planning process and so what to eat when and how to kind of spread it out across the week. Um, and also, I've never been a lifter. I've always just done cardio to lose weight, so I know nothing about lifting weights. So um, kind of getting that in there too, what to do, how many reps, how many weights, how many times a week, how to plan that out. Uh, what stopped you in the past from completing a fitness program? Um, I think I've done too much too soon and then just given up and also I haven't seen very many results fast enough. So I think that kind of plateaued me. Well to reach your goals, what kind of sacrifices are you willing to make? Doing it whatever I need to do. I mean I will go after work, before work, whatever I need to do to make sure I complete the process. Fantastic. <laughs> All right, well that's it. Again, okay. now what brought you here? Why are you doing the program? Overall fitness as I get older, I want to get healthier and, and keep a, a good steady way of life and show me the right way to continue. Okay. Uh, who are you doing this program for? I'm doing it for myself and my family to, to encourage myself to be better because I know I can be better and maintain just for a healthy lifestyle for all my loved ones. Well then, uh, what are some specifics you want to accomplish in the next 12 weeks? Honestly, I've always had uh, problems with my upper chest and I kind of want to flatten that out and I'm not worried about the six pack, just tighten my chest up and just overall health. So uh, what would be, what are the sacrifices you're willing to make to make that a reality? Everything, because it's the little things when I'm not here that are going to make the difference when I am here. It's the little building blocks. And you, if I skip it, you're going to know. Because I'm Kelly Zarian, I'm 26 years old. Jeff Bottega, I'm 32 years old. Fantastic. So how'd you guys do? How did you... How'd you change? What, what happened? Talk to me. Overall, we did really great. We're proud of ourselves. Um, I was just talking to Terrence about how um, I never thought that I could do it. Um, after you know one of our first group session and we got our new phases, I came home and I just cried because there's no way I could do 55 minutes of cardio per session. There's no way that I could do it 10 times a week. It just wasn't going to happen. Um, and I, I met that goal and I was able to do it. So I really learned a lot about myself the nutrition. I mean, and before it was four ounces of meat, six ounces, eight ounces. I didn't know. Um, I was just kind of winging it. So I think having the food scale, having those numbers, the nutrition budget is what I call it. Um, that helped. And then just the exercise. I've always, you know, lifted whatever, done arms, a few, you know, sides and fronts and curls, but I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how often, how much, what weights go with what day. And so overall, I mean, it was a great learning process. We did well. We got the results. Um, it obviously doesn't end. It still continues, but sure. it's a great start. It's a great start. Yeah. What you big guy? Uh, what I came from it more than anything was the nutritional part and the macro count. And uh, I wouldn't have been able to do anything without her. Like, it, Sundays were brutal, cooking and the dishes. But it was all worth it because, like, the whole week was made and you had that one massive day of doing everything and but it made that whole week easier you didn't everything was set and everything when it when you follow the plan and do the workouts and follow the steps everything just works and you slowly learn that you learn like this meal with this and this with this workout and this cardio and it wasn't dramatic but you saw the pounds and you saw them do the whole process just go and everything just works and the learning process and the density and the carbs and when to eat, what not to eat, and how to eat and how much to eat, to me was more beneficial than working out because that's, you can only spend so much time in the gym, but you do more stuff outside in the nutrition side and that's where it really matters. You can pick up weights at any time, but even the stories with Terrence and how 12 cookies made somebody do a three hours on the cardio just to break even, those things really carry with you outside and outside is what you do is where the things matter more than the inside. So it was it was a lot, but I'm really happy with 
what we got. So numbers, I didn't know your numbers. What did, how much did you, um, what was your final So number? I weighed myself this morning at our house and it was 40 pounds on the dot. Here it was 39, no. but <laughs> give or take, I want the you house know. Scale. I want the house, <laughs> the house scale in here. Um, yeah, so I lost 39 pounds. I don't know about the inches. I know at the halfway point I had lost 12 off of my hips, wow. seven off my waist. So. Um, that's motivation enough. Um, I'm in a wedding in July, and the bridesmaid just just came in, and I ordered it based off my old number. So I'm anxious to see how that is gonna fit. We're going to try that on um, after this, but yeah. Uh, I came in at 273, and I ended at 244. So I'm not mathematician, but I think it's 29 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> really, I, I I can see more definition, and I can feel better, and I just feel like I look better. And everybody's saying, "Oh, you lost weight," and you can see it in your face and overall, and it's really gratifying and awesome. So we had the nutrition and we had the workouts. Uh, what were the what were the things that you enjoyed most about those that helped you with the program? I think what I enjoyed most was not only the Saturday. I really liked the Saturday workouts because everybody had a common goal, whether it was you know lose body weight, get healthier. We all had some sort of goal. Um, that accountability, you're, you can't let your team down, you can't let your friends down, they're gonna be here. Um, but also, coming to the gym, I didn't feel like I couldn't ask a question. There's people always available, like, even if you guys were helping clients at the time, or if it was the same question I just asked a week ago, um, <laughs> you guys were more than willing to help me, show me the form, make sure I'm doing it correctly, and um, I just felt like I was at home. I, I was welcomed. I didn't feel like, oh, you know, that's just an overweight girl. She's going to fall off. You know, you guys really believed in us. And I think it helped me believe in the process. I did remember seeing you with the book, and you looked so much more professional, <laughs> knowing where the equipment was. <laughs> yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. Now, I mean, now, who do I, you know, a leg press? Like, okay, what does that mean? Like, really? <laughs> but and now I know, so. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, with the workouts and with the nutrition, having those programs for you, uh, how did you, how did you feel like it, it really helped you in here? Um, I feel more than anything, I feel like the atmosphere was, you guys gave us a tool, but it was the atmosphere and the family, the friends, the trainers, it, it became a family and it wasn't just those things, it was the whole atmosphere that, that really set it apart. I mean, there's days you dreaded it coming to the, to the gym. You really did. But Weeks. <laughs> these people are, are, are your support system. You guys are our support system. And never once did you let us down. Or the, the whole time it was encouraging. It was, if you had questions, ask. It wasn't, it was just fantastic to, to know, even if you weren't sure about that day's workout, other people were in the same boat. And the support system really got you through it and uh, questions on anything and you guys answered anything and you answered it honestly and fair without degrading people and it was just awesome. I also feel that like you guys were able to push me without pushing me to my breaking point. Able to get in my face, get on my level, yell at me, is that all you're going to do? Are you even trying? But you made it so I didn't want to quit and give up. So um, that helped I think because you know, usually somebody gets in my face, and I'm like, "What?" <laughs> but you guys knew exactly where to push and win. I imagine you two of you helped motivate each other. But what else was your big motivational push? Twelve weeks is either really fast or really long. Um, it was it was it was fast and long. Um, the last few weeks were the longest, but um, I think the push was seeing the numbers drop and the clothes fitting better. Um. I was telling them before, I was wearing my scrubs and, I don't know if I already said this in this interview, but the elastic waistband would leave marks around my midsection. They were so tight and I was just uncomfortable all the time. I avoided looking in the mirror. Um, I didn't, when I got out of the shower, I'd hurry up and get dressed because I didn't want it, you know, until fully clothed that I had, I would look in the mirror. Um, and I was just sick of that. You know, it was un depressing, unhappy. So that was the biggest motivation. And then once I saw it starting to come off, I knew I could do it. Um, just continuing it, so. What's your motivation? Uh, actually, it was buying another scale at the house and challenging myself to get to that number and get back to where I was years ago and enjoying life years ago. So like, it was like, all right. And it makes you, you see, you got a number in your mind and you're like, oh man, I'm 250, 
I want to be 247. So the way you carry your day and, and what you choose and you make smart decisions and that's like the big push and then you get 6 a.m., 5 a.m., 4 a.m., whenever I woke up, that same day when you weighed yourself, it was like, did I make enough right choices to get to that number? And then you get to that number and it's like, yes, I made it. And then it's like the next challenge, the next challenge. It wasn't five, 15 pounds, it was three pounds here and four pounds there, but again, it goes back to, to making the right decisions and challenging yourself and you, as you go on, you saw these things and you're like, I can do this, I can do this. And you just wanted more of that. Awesome. Um, what would you say to other contestants that are thinking about doing this in the future, the total body transformation? What would you say to them? I would say to absolutely do it. Um, it will be hard. It is not easy. Um, I think you have to be mentally prepared for it yourself. Um, and if they do sign up to stick with it, um, we have the support and we have the tools we need. It's really up to us to do it, but we're not alone. We have, you know, a good, even if you don't have a boyfriend that comes with you, you make a family within this um, program. And if they have been trying all these quick fixes and all of these, you know, take this, watch the pounds model, and it hasn't been working. This is a program that does work um, as long as you're willing to put in the effort and the work for it. I would say do it. Um, it's well worth the money, the investment, and it's not just the, the 12 weeks, it's a lifestyle change. You learn so much the knowledge you get and just the thing, the way you carry yourself and just day to day life. It's an investment in yourself and it really works. And you, you just want to be a better person by doing this program. And you might go to the gym, but that's so much, that's just a part of it. They teach you the whole, the whole package and that's what you do it for, and I have no complaints about anything, and it was well worth it. What's uh, what's next? What's what's left on the table? Um, we were talking about that on the way over, and you know, although today is the last day, it's really not. I think we're you know we're gonna stick with. I know you guys have an after program for us, um, so take a look at that and continue what we're doing. Now we might not be doing the twelve cardios per week, but we're still gonna shoot for you know, a healthy number. We're still going to eat healthy. We might have, you know, a drink here and there. We might have the sandwich with the bread that we've been wanting, but you know, that's not going to be an everyday thing. It's going to be a once in a while. And we even talked about it, you know, we want to go get frozen yogurt. We're going to go to the ocean front. And we're going to run to our destination. And then we're going to run back and we're not going to have all the toppings. Just things like that. Um, realistic. We're going to have a social life, but we're also not going to let us go to back to where we got to. Um, the food skills helped measure things, stay within those numbers, um, continually weigh ourselves um, with the bathroom scale and just be accountable and stick with it. I mean, continue it. What's next is really, she, she hit it right on the nail on the head. Um, it's taking what we learned and actually applying it and applying it when no one's looking. Yeah. And holding ourselves accountable. It, it doesn't stop at 12 weeks. It's truly a lifestyle change. And it's truly the eye-opening. And you realize the portions and the sizes and everything that goes into it doesn't stop at 12 weeks. You're like, 13 weeks ago, I lifted my whole life. But 13 weeks ago, I didn't really realize what a true portion size is. And now I still, even though the program's over, can continue that and I'll continue to work out and I'll continue to see results. Ultimately it's a competition with yourself. You know, we have our rivalries, but um, <laughs> it's a competition with yourself. Very proud of you guys. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much.